There are several types of obstacles that we encounter when we are trying to do our work with partner companies. Some of these obstacles are information barriers. Often there is not enough information with respect to a sector which we're working. Sometimes there are barriers to capital and financing which have to be broken down. Sometimes the barriers are more mental. It's a way of looking at things when you're looking at reducing your carbon emissions, moving towards a different lifestyle and a new way of running your business. So that's where I feel that what you are doing in terms of educating and working with CFOs, for example, to look at new business models and new ways of financing projects in sustainability and that knock out carbon emissions mm -hmm. is very helpful. The fact that you're bringing together different sectors. So you bring in government officials and Correct. you bring in regulatory bodies and you bring, of course, the owners of the businesses Correct. and you probably also bring in technology providers. Who are our members. Who are part of your association. It takes that type of multi-sectorial approach of building consortiums of companies to be able to work out the solutions that really maximize the opportunities. At the Carbon War Room, we are very eager to get very much involved in those activities mm. here in Singapore mm. and from Singapore for all of Southeast Asia. There's a lot that is happening here. This is very much a living laboratory for the rest of the region. Uh, but from my initial observations, I think that there's a tremendous potential for the Carbon War Room to mm -hmm. collaborate mm -hmm. uh, and to work together uh, with different sectors mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and for Asia. One is shipping, another one is energy efficiency in building. A third one for Asia is cement. There's a tremendous amount of carbon emissions that can be reduced in the manufacturing of cement and it represents a tremendous potential. And of course, with the amount of construction that you have going on, well, this is something where we want to get involved. And then I would also mention that there is an opportunity uh, for us to work together in what we are calling big data. We can use sensors and the internet and software to monitor energy efficiency even at the lowest, smallest level, and with that be able to extract additional efficiencies and cut out waste. That will reduce costs, will make companies more profitable, and will also reduce carbon emissions.